Hi everyone, Arjunal Pitch today and I'm working in this uh, Arjunal that I made just from 240 grams of uh, paper that I've adhered back to back and I'm working only on one side, I've uh, masked the other side, I don't, I'm not going for a double spread. I'm starting this page with gesso resist, I have got gesso here and makeup sponge now I yesterday I don't know what came over me I decided to uh, make some stencil and I've made this now <laughs> this I, I've made it on a 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook paper that I didn't like not the colors not the design and it's also glossy you don't I don't know if you can see it but it's glossy and I figured maybe it would be easier to cut all uh, these uh, circles uh, from uh, scrapbook paper and not from acetate and also acetate I only have in size of an A4 and I wanted something bigger well it wasn't easier but that's what I have and I'm going to um, use it here my kids are at home so you can probably uh, hear them in the back so I'm going to start with stenciling a gesso here and I'm dabbing my makeup sponge so I won't have too much excess and you will not uh, be able to see uh, all this white on white I can hardly uh, see but that's what I'm going to do and I'm just going to keep at it until I cover the whole page with this. Uh, you've seen me before use this technique. I really like it. Uh, it really gives a lot of interest and texture to your background. So as I said, I'm going to keep at it and when I'm finished, I'll be back and we'll continue. I'm back so finished stenciling with the gesso I've got some acrylic paints here these are our deco I've got a what is this a henna green I've got rust I've got mandarin tomato and chestnut really doesn't matter I'm just going to play with the colors use whatever you have now with gesso resist it's better best way to work with it is with sprays it's fast and they blend together nicely but I wanted to use acrylics so you can it, they are more accessible and uh, lots of people have them I'm using a baby wipe and I'm just dipping a little bit into the paint and start smearing now this is not planned I'm just having fun with the paint and blending uh, into each other and as you can see I'm not even uh, changing the where my uh, baby wipe is just letting all mix together not sure I will use the green henna but we'll see right now I'm putting the first start of this <laughs> page the colors and we'll see if it needs to to add something Now I'm changing just because it's really soaked with uh, paint and I need this a little bit less so I can blend the colors. And as you can see I'm adding where I think it's needed. Mm, I need more of the yellow 
I think it brightens the whole thing. Let's see. Use a little bit of the green. Just to add a little bit of tint. So I will have more uh, shades, more interest. Yeah. I'm going with the green just a little bit on the edges nothing perfect just a little bit of smear I love just resist just beautiful Okay, just going with circular motion where I think it needs more blending, but basically this is it. Yeah, okay, I like it. So I uh, Finished with this, this is a very, uh, I think uh, it will be a very uh, quick page. Uh, let's see. Uh, what did I want to do? <laughs> I want some drippage and I've got this uh, black spray. This is, may, I made it with gel food coloring and water. There are no measurements. I just put some drops of the gel food coloring and then I see if uh, it's uh, good enough for me that's all now I'm taking let's see let's take some towel so I won't have a puddle at the bottom because I want it to drip from uh, top to bottom so I'm putting here some towel and let's see i'm taking a brush let's see what i can do here i hope i'm in frame <laughs> i hope it will work drip i should probably help it with some more water but right now i'm just putting it here at the top i really hope you can see what i'm doing okay Maybe help it. I don't know. Let's put it here. I'm taking some water and it's really tough working like this. <laughs> oh, it's, never mind. Helping it with more water to drip okay now it's getting somewhere I'm letting it do its thing and drip 
maybe a little bit more here. Yeah. Okay. Almost good enough, I think. I will help it a little bit. So let's do something like that. So as you can see, I'm helping it the drippage. And I think I will dab a little bit from what came here to the bottom. It's always a struggle between letting things be and controlling. Okay. That's good enough. Okay, I'm going to uh, to <laughs> to dry this and then I'll come back. I'm back. So, I want to add some more detail to the background and I've picked uh, this stamp set from Stamperia uh, for a uh, the circle element because I want it to go with what I have in the background and I am also going to use this this one from uh, Aliexpress so I've got here a uh, archival ink and I'm gonna take this it really doesn't matter I just wanted a uh, something circle to put on my page and now I'm gonna stamp randomly and don't really care about how, where it goes, how it goes. It's just adding details. Yeah. So finished with this, now this one, I'm also overlapping, and changing the direction that I'm stamping. finished with the stamping and I'm going back to stenciling my focal image so here is my stencil I've bought it from Aliexpress and now I want some black okay let's see yeah, I think here. Yeah. Okay, so now again, just makeup sponge dabbing. So I won't have a spilling under the stencil. Working very gently. and dabbing away so this is going to take some time I'm going to continue off camera and come back when I'm finished ok 
Okay, finished stenciling and I feel like my image needs grounding. I have this piece of square book paper that was left on my desk from some uh, greeting cards I've made and I'm thinking maybe I can use it here. So let's see. First time uh, cutting it. Let's do it like this. And I want to tear it. I don't want it straight. So I'm just doing like this. And let's grunge it up with the left black acrylic paint. I've got with all this spillage and grunginess in the background I can't have this so pristine and clean <laughs> Okay, so this is going here. I hope I'm in frame. And I, after I'll glue it, I'll bring in the stencil again so it will go up on top. So let's see, let's do it quick. I'm using clear silicone glue. I like this. Uh, glue it's strong and it dries fast but not too fast so you can still move your pieces when you're using it but you can use whatever glue you want okay so this is in place bringing in the stencil again and here we go yes that's more like it now I'm just thinking I'm adding a little bit to the edges just to darken and make everything cohesive and come together. Yeah, a little bit more here. It's too clean in <laughs> the scrapbook paper, it's too nice. Okay, more like it. Let's see, I think I'm finished. Gently. Oopsie. Okay, never mind, it tore a little bit, but good enough for me that's my page i love it quick and simple i hope you liked it and thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now